Uh, welcome everybody. This is Digitally Demented. I'm Daniel. I'm using the headset because I get better audio quality. So y'all are watching a DJ essentially. Um, a little tilted on this episode for a minute. I want to show you my new leopard geckos. Um, they're hiding right now, but um, we have three, a mating pair, a uh, male king and his two biatches, uh, skits and downs. Yes, named for schizophrenia and downs as in downers. So I'm going to move to more of my backdrop. As you can see there in the background, oh, sorry, shaky. As you can see there in the background, my birthday balloon. Um, yes, I had a birthday last Friday. Thank you very much for the happy birthday. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, got some cool stuff. Uh, my girlfriend, she took me to Huntsville to uh, shake off the everyday routine. So we had an excellent time in the Rocket City. A lot of people don't know this, but Huntsville has per capita the most rocket scientists in the nation. Yes, that's right. Rocket City, USA. Um, another thing she's doing is we're going to get to go see Rod Stewart. Um, I'm not a huge Rod Stewart fan, but he's got good music and... The tickets are free. So we are going to be going on Friday to go see Rod Stewart. I'm kind of, I'm excited, you know. It'll be the first concert since, God, what was the last concert I went to? Big kind of concert. I'm not even sure. I know I've seen Sister Hazel in concert and can't think of anybody else right now um, that I've seen in concert. But it'll, it'll be a good show. Um, but... Again, welcome to Digitally Demented. That was just some of my daily life. My daily mixed up life. Um, right now, actually, you can see my UAB football shirt on right now. Hang on. Adjustment. Ah! Um, but it's not football day. It's basketball day. UAB is taking on Memphis here in about an hour and a half. Um, I will be heading up to Full Moon Barbecue on Valley Avenue here in Birmingham. Um, to watch the Blazers play on the big screen at, at Full Moon. Uh, we've invited a whole bunch of people from Blazer Talk. Uh, that is the UAB message board, www.blazertalk.com. Um, love y'all to register, say hi. I am one of the moderators on there, Blazer for Life. Um, not usually one to claim that, but it's a podcasting community y'all y'all will enjoy. It's uh, all UAB Blazers sports all the time. Um, usually the newspapers and news media break the stories about two days after Blazer Talk has broken them. So, uh, Blazer Talk is definitely your number one source for Blazer Sports information, we'll say. So, um, quick little plug there. So, excited about the game. Blazers are 15-point dog to Memphis Tigers. But, I, got, I, I, I don't know, uh, Lawrence Kennard really got chewed out um, last Monday uh, not this past not this Monday but the one day before and basically got to sit out of practice and consider his future with the team and he went to put on two of his best performances um, in his career against Tulane and UCF so very happy excuse me excuse me sorry I've been up since 5 a.m. went and played basketball this morning um, but Lawrence Kennard put a, together two of his best performances ever. And, you know, now we have three people instead of two people um, making the moves on the team. And hopefully that will, as the team progresses and they mature, um, you know, we'll have more go-to guys, which in I think Coach Davis' system is what's needed. But that's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a student. Um... Another thing I've been doing, catching up on my podcasts, um, because as all of you know, I am jumping back into podcasting, um, working with My Life Bites, which I haven't had a chance today to sit down and do an episode. I'll do one um, tomorrow, maybe. Um, probably bring my headset and Mac with me and do one tomorrow while I'm at Missy's house and um, upload it Thursday. So y'all will probably see something from My Life Bites here very soon. Um, but just been catching up podcasting, uh, podcast 411, of course, 
um, today in podcasting, which I really like. I like uh, the three different styles coming together and, you know, just talking about podcasting, which all of us love. I mean, you wouldn't be watching mine, definitely, if uh, you didn't like podcasting. So, a um, couple of great shows out there, uh, Podcast Academy as well. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to talk here a little bit about my job um, in media relations at UAB. Um, I'm a student. Um, I am a student assistant there. And a few years ago, when I, a couple of years ago rather, when um, I first started this podcasting thing, you know, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I got paid to do podcasting? Well, guess what? <laughs> I am working 20 hours a week doing podcasting, doing podcasting stuff, helping UAB initiate, excuse me, their podcast effort. Um, I'm enjoying the heck out of myself. Um, it's been a blast. We've got two completed from reporters there. I'm going tomorrow to actually record another one. Um, which I'm excited about. Um, and yeah, it's it's going to be amazing. As soon as I'm able to put one out there for consumption. Whoop, wrong side. As, one, as soon as I'm able to put a podcast out there for consumption, I will. Um, and I definitely want you guys' opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, so, it's exciting. Um, being able to help an institution very reputable institution like UAB establish a brand new service. Uh, it's exciting. I'm enjoying myself. Um, it's allowing me to dedicate time to podcasting um, and put myself out there in the community of podcasting. And that's essentially what I've been trying to do, get back into podcasting, listen to people's podcasts again, um, you know, wiping the dust off of my podcast and, um, you know, We'll see where it goes. I'm definitely looking forward. I'm helping out with or attempting to help out with Dragon Con's podcasting track. Um, Derek and Swoopy have been pimping that on Dragon Con, uh, Dragon Dash Pod dot com. Mm, check that one out. Um, and the forums there, and I'm an active member there. Um, and hopefully, you know, uh, Dragon Con will have a lot of cool podcasting stuff. Um, I'm definitely looking to be there. Um, I'm also possibly going to PodCamp Atlanta um, in March, so I'm excited about that. Uh, hopefully, we'll already be podcasting at UAB by that time, and I'll get to go on UAB's tab um, as a representative. So, um, And I think that's very important that UAB, since they are dedicating time and effort to podcasting, that they show somewhat of a presence in the podcasting community. And that will be my job once we get everyone trained and podcasting. So, um, another thing, thank you. This this one goes out to Rob at Podcast Warrior One One. Thank you for your forums. They are absolutely awesome. Um, I've met not one but two podcasters through the forums there, and I suggest that everyone um, who's watching my podcast right now and uh or bidcast uh right now and you're looking to find other uh podcasters in your area sign up to his boards um he's definitely got an awesome resource there and i don't think i realized just how awesome it was until you know i started emailing back and forth with ginger at the uh, brain science podcast um and she put me in touch with jenny uh, she does, oh, uh, what's the podcast? I don't have it in front of me. I'll put it in show notes. Um, she does a comic podcast, and she's been invited to uh, go somewhere, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, some sort of convention type thing in San Diego to benefit a very worthwhile charity. I'm sorry, it's it's escaping me right now. I read it earlier. Um, but very excited to uh, having just have other podcasters in my area and uh that makes me very happy um because now we can share ideas you know we can caravan to uh like pod camp and to uh, L uh other places wherever we want to if we if, if it's something here in the southeast um so let me tell you guys a little bit about myself um 
I'm a student here at UAB, as I've said 20 times by now, um, majoring in mass communications, uh, podcasting, <laughs> uh, minors in film and psychology. Very um, happy. I already have my psychology minor, working on my film minor, and I got a couple classes to sweep up after I finish my film minor, and hopefully I will graduate in... Uh, May of 08, it's kind of funny when all the incoming freshmen know you as Van, um, which some of them actually know me as Van. I've been at UAB for four and a half years procrastinating, procrastinating rather, and uh, it's been an awesome experience. I've had a chance to do a whole bunch here at UAB. Um, I was an orientation leader for summer. I helped intramural officiate. I was a tutor for the Athletic Academic Center. Um, I have worked as an assistant in the provost in the president's office. Um, I've helped out numerous times with Into the Streets and uh, Spring Fest and little things like uh, that. that. Those are traditional things here at UAB. Um, Spring Fest is a volunteer day, basically once every semester. And it's very worthwhile, uh, very enjoyable. I've done it several times and uh, love every minute of it. Uh, had a chance to help out with uh, the UAB Habitat for Humanity group one time, one summer. Um, just so many things I've done that UAB allows you to do. Um, and if there's something that you like and people aren't doing it, they say, hey, do it. Um, and you're able to do it. I've started here on campus. Um, I started this res uh, student group Residence Hall Association, RHA, um, and I helped build it to what it is today. Um, a part of that credit has, definitely has to go to um, the friends that I looked at many times and said, please come to this meeting, just show up, um, please do this. Um, they've won many regional awards, state awards, um, and I'm very happy to, to have that on my resume as well. I'm currently president of UAB Gang Green. It is uh, the UAB student fan group, uh, UABGangGreen.com. Uh, definitely, definitely something I'm very passionate about. And that connection uh, has allowed me to meet numerous folks throughout the UAB campus that I wouldn't have gotten to meet and talk to otherwise. So i um, very excited. Um, about that opportunity that's been afforded to me. So, enough with the big word speeches and this and that. Um, one other thing I want to tell you guys, and you guys can probably see it off of my YouTube um, site, is I have two short films. Um, those were actually done in a class, Narrative One class. Uh, Narrative One filmmaking is what I called it. It's something else, but it's basically filmmaking. We used uh, mini DV cameras, um, very nice ones, very expensive ones that we had to sign our soul away to get, to borrow. Um, and it was a class that I enjoyed way too much. Um, definitely love editing. Uh, I did audio on the second piece, what I call the D-Light Project, which is uh, actually titled Yahweh Not Your Way. Um, Eight Days was our first piece that we did that they basically just looked at us as Throw and then threw us in and said, "Make a movie. Here's how you do it. Make a movie. Screw up on this one, not on your next one. Make a movie." Um, and June busted our balls if we screwed up in that second one. Um, we had to go do some ADR, additional dialogue recording, um, because in one part we used a boom pole uh, and a boom mic for um, audio, and another part. We used uh, a lapel mic, and it sounded crappy through the lapel, but great through the boom. So we had to go back to ADR and clean it up. Um, but all in all, it came out excellent. I thought both of them um, got very good marks on each. And I wanted you guys' feedback. Tell me if I'm any good at this, because if I am, then I'm going to do it in my spare time. Um, I'm already got a little camera of my own. Oops. Ah. Hang on. It's a Canon handy cam. It's not a lot. See, handy, handy cam. Handy cam. So easy. 
it flips out and it's got a little widescreen display and it's that unfortunately I think I left my power cord somewhere and I currently don't know where it is um, so I've got some charge to it but I'm not gonna be able to edit it in um, iMovie until I've got a stable power source because it sucks a lot of energy to um, upload to iMovie as I found out in the past so um, I'm hitting about 15 minutes I want to keep these about 15 to 17 minutes so I'm gonna cut her off right now look for a post tomorrow to see if the Blazers won or not which I'm sure they will but you never know um so this is me signing off thank you for listening Enjoy it. Love your feedback. Uh, please email it to me at digitallydemented at gmail.com. Um, also, check out my other uh, podcast, um, My Life Bites, B-Y-T-E-S. Um, my Life Bites, B-Y-T-E-S. Sorry about that. I just I breeze through stuff, and I'm trying to deep breath, relax, and take my time through stuff. So, um, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.